So you finally sit down and start drawing your masterpiece. You've got a nice base done, but now it's time for the clothes, more specifically folds. And this is where it all goes wrong. Does that sound familiar? Don't worry, I got you. I got you, okay? First of all, what are folds? Folds in fabric are formed by the gentle draping of loose full garments or pieces of cloth. For example, you can easily visualize this by imagining a piece of cloth draped over a cube. Even though the cube is covered, you can still tell its shape underneath. When drawing folds, it's important to consider what the fabric is covering. A helpful way to practice is by drawing a piece of cloth draped over different shapes before drawing it on the body. Understanding the different types of folds can help you draw more realistic clothes. There are a total of seven types of folds. Drop folds. A drop folds occur when fabric hangs down from a tension point. Imagine a series of flattened cones linked to each other, with each cone dropping lower than the previous one, creating an S curved line at the bottom. To render it, start by blocking out the shadows at the bottom of each cone and around the tension point. Then blend out the shadows and make it look more natural. On the figure, drop folds are normally formed around shoulders and knees, which act as the tension point. Diaper folds. Now I know what you're thinking. It's not that kind of diaper. A diaper folds are created when fabric hangs between two tension points and is slightly compressed in the middle. This results in a pattern of interlocking lines that are tighter in the center of the compression and looser away from the center. When rendering, it's important to remember the folds are three-dimensional and are made up of different forms. Imagine them as different planes, where the light hits the upper planes and casts shadows on the bottom planes, which become more faded as they move away from the center. Half lock folds. Half lock folds are formed when a cylinder of fabric is compressed together at a bend, such as knees and elbows. The opposite side of the compression will be the tension point. The fabric essentially folds on itself, which creates a loop at the compression point. To render it, start by blocking out shadows at the compression point, which is the inner part of the arm in this case, then the tension point, which is the elbow. Draw some deformed triangles to represent the shadows as the folds are stretched towards the wrist and the shoulders, then blend everything out. By the way, I'm using the blur to eclipse studio paint to do the blending and the fill tool to do the blocking. Okay, back to the folds. Zigzag folds. Zigzag folds are created when a cylinder of fabric is gently compressed, then relaxed. They are essentially a softer, flatter version of spiral folds. To draw them, try imagining some deformed diamonds placed next to each other which creates a series of zigzagging lines in between. When rendering, block the shadows in diamond shapes. Then shade the bottom half of the diamond with a lighter color to give it dimensions. Then blend out the edges to soften the look. Spiral folds. Spiral folds are formed when a cylinder of fabric is compressed by pushing into itself. To draw it, try imagining the folds in a deformed X, Y, and Z shape. Then draw some V-shaped lines around it. When rendering, it's important to remember that each of the folds is like a small cylinder wrapped around the arm. Block out some shadows at where the V-shaped lines are, and you can draw them as deformed triangles, then blend out the edges away from the edge of the arm. Pipe folds. Pipe folds occur in two ways. The first is when the fabric is suspended from a tension point, similar to a drop fold but in a cylindrical shape. The second way is when the fabric is stretched between two tension points, creating folds that are denser at the top and looser at the bottom. When drawing, start by identifying the tension points and then draw lines radiating from them. 
When rendering, try to imagine the folds as tubes, and then block out shadows in between. You can also add some shadows around the tension points to make it look more realistic. Inert folds. Inert folds happen when you throw a piece of fabric to the floor, so it's a mix of all the folds. To draw it, I would recommend using references, since they are pretty much random depending on the way the fabric is sitting. First, simplify the complex shapes into geometric shapes and lines, then block out some shadows based on the reference. You can use deformed triangles to represent the shadows, then again, blend out the edges to soften the look. There's a lot of triangles when you are drawing folds. Hmm, I wonder what that means. And now we are entering the not so sure territory. Based on my search on the internet, there is one more type of fold. Compression folds. Compression folds are formed when the fabric is compressed into itself. Since it's not affected by tension, it's free to blend and waver a bit more. These folds are often accompanied by stretch pipe folds, since one side is extended, the other side is often bent. When rendering, keep in mind the direction of the compression and draw the shadows according to it. Then blend the edges that are facing the center. The reason why I said that I was unsure about the compression folds is that whenever I search online, there are only seven types of folds. And some said that the compression folds are the general term of other folds. So it's a bit inconclusive to say the least. But if it's helped you draw better, then I think it's helpful nonetheless. No need to focus on the technicality. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. I was actually going to include a process explanation on how I draw and when the clothes in my style, but I ran out of time to edit the footage, so I will do it in another video, I guess. Anyway, if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. It does help up a lot. And if you have any topic suggestion for the next video, comment below to let me know. And that's it. See you in the next video.